welcome this is Gary Foster and on this video I'm going to share with you how you can hypnotize any client without any scripts at all. Now a lot of traditional hypnotherapists and people who have been trained a traditional way will follow a script. That's fine and that can work for most clients. However, let's have a think about this. People learn and respond through different modalities within their mindset. So for example, some people will respond more to visual type words, where others will respond more to auditory type words. And then there are those that respond better to sort of feeling and emotional type words. Now, if you use one script <clears throat> and you talk through that script with every client, it's possible you might miss out some opportunities to help that person go into a deeper state of hypnosis or to feel more relaxed or more comfortable. Depends on what your outcome is. But let me explain how this particularly works. First of all, when someone comes to see you, they've already decided in their minds that you're the person, you're the expert. Okay, so pulling out a script in front of someone really doesn't shine towards them that you're the expert, does it? So the ability to be able to hypnotize anyone at any time, at any place, raises your uh, position, definitely. There's no doubt about that. Anyhow, so the first thing that you have to do, obviously, is get rapport with the person. They've got to feel a connection there. And there are many ways of doing that. Naturally, uh, if you just match someone's language patterns and their body language, just generally match it, you'll tend to find that you can build that rapport with them. Okay, the second part is, is, is what I call the former part of hypnosis. Is you actually tell them, right, I'm now going to hypnotize you. Or right, we're now going to do the hypnosis part. Or now you're gonna go into hypnosis. You just tell them. Now, as they receive that message, their unconscious mind and conscious mind will be ready to be hypnotized. Now, I always set it up so I let them sit down first, then I adjust their position. So we get what's known as conformity. If you can get two or three things to occur, it really does make this a whole lot better. So let's say that uh, they're sitting in the chair and they've crossed their legs and they've crossed their arms like this. The first thing I say to them is, okay, we're about to begin. What I'd like you to do, uncross your arms and place them on the sides of the chair, and they do, and just uncross your feet as well. That's right. All right, I say, then I'll say to them, I want to push yourself back in the chair. So watch what happens, like that. And now I've got three things of conformity. They've followed my commands. Does that make sense? So if they're following the commands, they'll follow the next commands, which is all part of the hypnosis. And then what I'll say to them, I say, well, just close your eyes for a moment and just listen to the sound of my voice. Now, this is where I'm going to do the no script hypnosis for you. All I'm going to do is feedback what I see in front of me, that client sitting in the chair. It's as simple as that, it really is. So I say, okay, right, just close your eyes now, become aware of your eyes closed. That's the first part. That's right, be aware of your feet resting on the stool. If, well, for me, they're resting on the stool. If not, if they're resting on the floor, say the floor. Aware of your arms resting on the side of the chair. Aware of the sound of my voice. I'd like to become Aware also of the temperature of the room, of the noises inside and outside of the room. If there's any particular noises I pick up when I'm saying that, I'll feed that back. So for example, aware maybe of the helicopter flying by, or maybe aware of people opening and closing doors away from the office, uh, throwing in a, a beautiful line, nothing bothers you, nothing concerns you whilst you listen to the sound of my voice. They're listening to the sound of my voice unless, unless they're deaf, okay? So whilst I'm talking to them, I'm relaying what's happening in the room. As you're sitting there, and as you can feel yourself, your back against the chair now, or maybe where, how your head and neck now begins to feel as it rests on the back of the chair, the temperature of your hands as they rest on the side, on the arms of the chair, may be also aware of you and um, this is what i'm watching for as you breathe in and they'll be breathing in at that point and then when you're breathing out okay and that's all i'm doing if i'm playing music whilst i do the session i will relay that back to them as you listen to the sound of the music in the background and if there's something in particular say a piano piece as you hear the piano in the background 
and how the music seems to change pace and sounds. And those sounds and everything that you notice will allow you to go into a deeper state of calmness and relaxation, to allow your mind to drift and wander. Literally, if you do that for two, three, four minutes, that person is going to be in a decent level of trance. Okay, they're going to be in the level of what we call hypnosis, the altered state of awareness. And once they're in that altered state, that's when you can begin to use that part, if it's a suggestion therapy session, to feed their unconscious and conscious mind with positively phrased suggestions. So for example, you're a non-smoker now. You have no need or desire ever to put a burning hot cigarette in your mouth ever again. The thought is the most disgusting thought and you reject it entirely. There's one particular phrase I might use for someone who's come to see me to stop smoking. Or you might bring in the phrases each and every day that goes by, you become a more calm, more confident, relaxed person. That person that gets on with the business of living. The things that used to bother you, now just calm and will now just relax you. Those phrases will just flow for you. Okay, the more you use them, the easier it becomes to use them. You begin to notice that smaller portions satisfy your needs. That you feel completely full after you've been eating smaller portions and your body begins to burn up that stored body fat at an accelerated rate, losing effortlessly and easily one or two pounds of stored body fat each and every week. And as every day goes by, it just gets easier and easier for you. So as you listen to the sound of my voice and you become aware of the music in the background, do you see where I'm going now on the deepener? Aware of your arms resting by your side, maybe aware of the temperature of your feet as they're resting on the stool, and so on. It's a conversation you have with someone. And then when you're ready to re-emerge them, remember, they're not waking up because they're not asleep unless they've fallen asleep. Okay, so when you're ready to re-emerge them, to bring them back to full awareness, I would say something like this. Okay, then, in a moment, I'm going to count it from one to five. And when I get to five, it'll be time for you to open your eyes, feeling great in every way. And I do it something like this. One, gradually bring your thoughts back to today. Two, amazed that a few moments have flown by. Three, halfway up, feeling good, feeling great in every way. Four, eyes begin to open now, whole body back to full awareness. And five, eyes open, feeling great in every way. And when they open their eyes, big smile on my face. And that's about it, really. That's how you hypnotize someone using your environment, using the sounds around you, the temperature around you, the smells around you, the taste of their, if they've eaten something. Whatever it is, you just reflect it back to them. There is no script to do. That, okay, because every client will be different. Every person will be different. Anyhow, here's my free gift to you then, literally, okay? I've now talked you through how I use the no script way of hypnotizing someone. What I'd like you to do for me, go away, practice with some friends, those that you feel comfortable with, and we give me feedback. I would love to hear how you get along with it. It would be great to get your feedback. Now, wherever this video is, there might be some comments below or a comment box below for you to fill in, or there might be an email link, or maybe there's something at the side. It's still be on this side with a, a name and an email address if you want to download some information that I've put together for you. And whatever is there and whatever is there, take advantage of it, use it, and do give me feedback. So this is Gary Foster saying for at least today, Bye for now. You know, what script do you use? And, uh, you know, I've been doing this job now for 24 years, so I really don't need to use a script as such. However, <clears throat> what I do use is a specific way of doing it. <coughs> Frog in my throat! <laughs> Can you believe it? I go and record something and I get something stuck in my throat. Oh, I'm gonna have to redo this now. Hold on one second. <sighs> Got this great sign in the office. Do you like it? Yeah. Don't worry, be happy.
is something else I've got. Let's see if you can get this one. Do you spot it? Okay, back to normal. That's bad, I think my throat's okay. 